All right, because of what we have seen in the last four weeks, never mind the last four years, we know just how far the Democrats will go to eliminate President Trump from the race. They'll even embrace a final solution to orange man bad. Why are they willing to do just about anything? Well, because of their addiction to power. Because they'll do anything to feed their addiction, we know Democrats have the self-control of Hunter Biden and the self-awareness of Joe Biden. Think about that. And while Dr. Dr. Jill sees things differently, we stand by our diagnosis. And we diagnose the Biden White House as dysfunctional and the Democratic Party as delusional. The two are responsible for the rise of Kamala Harris, installing her. And now, in spite of calls for unity in the Obama's phone call for the same, Democrats are desperate. Because they're desperate to stay in power, because Joe Biden refuses to leave the White House quietly, and Kamala Harris refuses to let Democrats pick someone else to run for the White House, the party's out of control. And the Democrat Party is dangerous. In its desperation to keep power, the Democrat Party proves itself unworthy. In its desperation to deny President Trump the White House, the Democrat Party proves itself willing to abuse power to do anything. In its desperation to ignore the abuse of power, in its refusal to enact the 25th Amendment to the Constitution, the Democrats prove themselves unwilling to preserve and protect the Constitution of the United States of America. Do not underestimate the danger of the Democrats. Do not underestimate how ruthless this party can be because the Obamas, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will say anything to possess power. They will do anything. They've already done too much to retain power. They'll do anything not to relinquish or transfer power either to Donald Trump or anyone else for that matter. Remember that the Democrats have impeached President Trump twice on extremely dubious charges. That, of course, was just the beginning. Then they indicted President Trump, prosecuted President Trump, and persecuted President Trump, really. They don't, and in fact, if you go to Google right now, you can't even find much about the assassination attempt. That's been pushed to the side. The autofill part of Google won't even find you the assassination attempt on Donald Trump. Go look. I did it yesterday. Democrats have fined and sought to imprison Donald Trump. They hate him, period. They hate anyone who stands with and supports him. That means a lot of people just like you. And yes, more than a few Democrats hate that an assassin failed. That's right, failed to kill President Trump while firing eight rounds on July the 13th. Yeah, you see it on social media. So do not mistake words of unity for evidence of unity. The only thing that unites Democrats, the only feeling that inspires Democrats, is their hatred of President Donald Trump and for people like you if you support him. The only thing we know Democrats will do between now and Election Day is attack Donald Trump. That's pretty clear. The Obamas, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris will come together to attempt to destroy President Trump again. They, not, they, they, well, they don't like each other. But they will band together to destroy Trump. The attempts to assassinate the character of President Trump will continue. So is the definition of unity, according to the Democrats. If we just keep attacking this guy, we're, we're together. Only by calling out the lies of Democrats and their accomplices in the media can we win. We need to call attention to the truth about a phone call between Democrats. Only by reminding voters that the Obamas and the Bidens are not allies, but I guess the word's frenemy. They don't like each other. They're desperate. Only by showing how desperate Democrats are to deny President Trump the White House can we show how fast they are to deny anything is wrong at the White House. We'll show you the Democrats cannot intimidate us. We'll show the media they cannot silence us. We'll show the world what it means to be an American. We will defeat Kamala Harris, but it won't be easy. We will defeat the Democrats, but it will be very hard. We'll save the country, but you have to help. We can make America great again, but we need everyone to help make this happen. Now, let me tell you why I know that Barack Obama is not happy. A lot of a very credible reporting coming out over the weekend. This one from the Gateway Pundit, not always the best source, but good on this one because it's coming from many other places as well. Barack Obama threatened to use the 25th Amendment to remove Joe Biden after a medical incident in Las Vegas and said, if you don't relinquish your pursuit of a second term, we're going to force the 25th Amendment. Now, he said he had Kamala Harris on board to do this, but what he didn't say was he didn't choose Kamala to be the replacement. He wanted Mark Kelly, a lot of credible reporting, the senator, former military man and NASA astronaut, Mark Kelly of Arizona, 
whose wife, obviously, as you know, was, was shot. Mark Kelly, an anti-gun guy from Arizona. And, and in charge of, of the Giffords effort. These are all things that we're learning now. Barack Obama threatening to knock him out of the way. Obama called Biden after breakfast on July 20th and said, here's the deal. We have Kamala's approval to invoke the 25th Amendment. And, and this comes from Seymour Hirsch, by the way, on his Substack. Pretty credible reporting from Seymour Hirsch. Here is the relevant snippet, by the way. On Sunday morning, the official told me, with the approval of Pelosi and Schumer, Obama called Biden after breakfast. He said, here's the deal. We have Kamala's approval to invoke the 25th Amendment. Of course, the amendment provides that when the president is determined by the vice president and others, more than half the cabinet, to be unfit to carry out the powers and duties of the office, the vice president shall assume those duties. And there you have it. There's your unified Democrat Party. Uh, not happy, are they? No, not happy at all. There you have it. Uh, for a long time, the globalists have been telling us that there's bad things coming. Disease X. Now, I don't know if this disease X or anything else is true or not. They say it could be worse than COVID, but how would they know? The fact is, they wouldn't. But they keep spreading fear. They're talking about the bird flu there for a while. They'll be talking about something else very soon. How do I know? It's what they do. It's just it's a way to, con to instill fear in you and everybody else. Here's what I know, though. I don't have to be scared. I just have to be prepared. And that's where my friends at the Wellness Company come in. They have several kits to protect you. The Contagion Kit has exactly what you need to keep your sa family safe from bird flu or COVID or anything else. It has medicines like ivermectin, hydroxychloroquine, the Z-Pak, Tamiflu. It provides a guidebook for the aid and safe use of all these medications. Just be, be assured that you have the things on your shelf. And they have the Contagion Kit, an emergency kit, a first aid kit, a travel kit. Where do you find them? TWC.health/gruber. TWC.health slash Goober. Go there today. Save 10% on your order.